Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I'm going to do a quick review slash overview of the Iron Man Inspire Sport headphones and the Iron Man Inspire Behind Ear headphones. These are both the same price. Uh, most places that stock one will usually stock the other that I've seen. And as far as I know, these are only available in black and these are only available in white. So for starters, the bad, the cords on both of these are the exact same, basically. And they are really, really rubberized. So they get, that sounds like it might be a good thing, and I think they actually list it as like a pro on these, on the boxes and stuff. It actually is kind of sucks, because it makes it where these get tangled up, like when you pull them out of your pocket and stuff, they are really, really prone to tangling the cords up pretty bad. But the only good thing about that is that since they are rubberized and a little thicker, they're a little bit easier to untangle than like maybe say iPhone earbuds or anything, but they do get tangled up much easier and more often. These, sometimes, like I said with the rubber eyes, they, you can pull those off, but you just got to be careful when you take them out of your pocket to not yank those off on either pair of them because that, that, you know, it's meant to spin. It's meant to be slightly loose. You can knock those off, but something maybe worth noting is the jacks on both of these is little 90 degree jacks. It doesn't go straight up like an iPhone one, which I prefer them to be like this, but I'm just pointing that out. They both have the same shape here and you can rotate this little rubber piece to kind of adjust it to set in your ear canal right. You can do that with both of them and it's like I said the only difference is that this has this tube on the top with this off of it which you can adjust the height on this, you can spin this. This has a wire inside of it, I don't want to mess it up but there's a wire inside there kind of um, so that you can you know bend it and it'll stay where you bend it like uh, like those old toys you had as a kid, the little men that you could bend their arms all in crazy ways and stuff. It's like that. It's got the wire in there to make it stay in place. These, if you are a bigger individual, just a bigger person, I'm not saying if you're fat or something, that doesn't have anything to do with it. I'm saying if you're a larger person like me, these may not be the best because if you have a bigger than maybe the average male's ears, these may tend to start to fall out if you start to get sweaty. These will not fall out. These are not going to fall out. If you make these fall out, let me know what it is that you're doing while wearing headphones. Um, actually, don't. I don't want to know that. <laughs> don't tell me that. These clip in and stay in extremely well. If you're wearing them, and I, I wear headphones behind the ear, over the ear, like that. I, I, I get a lot of use out of different pairs of headphones. These will start to get uncomfortable if you wear them for more than, like, you know, a couple of hours. Up until that point, you're fine. But if you're, like, a couple days ago, I was uh, repainting one of our uh, rooms because uh, we have a baby on the way. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And was painting all day and was wearing these all day. And, yeah, about the two-hour marks where they start to get uncomfortable. But it's just because of this kind of pinching behind your ear a little bit. If you just loosen that up and make them where they're fitting a little looser it works fine but if you have them fit in for like a bike ride or something more than two hours they start getting comfortable these would work perfect for you know any any females that want to use these i'm sure they probably fit just fine in your ears but just like i said for i would say probably most guy ears these are probably a little bit too small as far as the audio quality on them they're both the exact same they're just average i would say with a little bit more bass than your average set of headphones since they do stick directly into your ear like that. I mean, they, they basically fit like a like a hearing aid, pretty much. Um, and since they fit directly into your ear, you get a little bit better bass than you would off of a normal pair of earbuds, that's for sure. But just the general quality, it's no better than your average set of headphones. That's all I can say. I have bought so many pairs of earphones, ruining them with sweat. These Sweat does not affect these. You can get these like just drenched with sweat, and they're fine. Also, I know this is kind of gross, but the, the way this sets in your ear, you're not going to get sweat to drain uphill and into that. These, you can just pretty much spin that and immediately put them in. These take a little bit longer to get set up to where they, because they say they're like a custom fit for your ears. These will take you a little longer to set up because of the height, getting the, the, this position correctly, how far up you want that, how you want the bend. The best I can say is bend this out really far and then just mash it behind your ear and that's how I eventually figured out to be a better way to set them up. It's really hard to realize how different everybody's ear canal is positioned until you try to share a pair of these because that was the initial plan was me and my wife were just going to buy a pair of these and share them because when she goes to the gym and when I go for my bike rides and stuff, 
just totally different times. So we're just going to share them. It ended up, we ended up just buying them both. And these are almost impossible to share with somebody unless they, some in some freakish way, have the exact same ears that you do. Because they are a pretty custom fit once you get them all set up. I mean, they really feel like they're made for your ears. So yeah, they're they're 30 bucks each. As far as I'm concerned, you will not find a better pair of you know athletic sports headphones. I I ride mountain bikes a lot, and nothing like crazy downhill stuff, but a lot of cross country type riding. And these have been the best thing I have bought aside from my actual bike <laughs> because they they just won't fall out. They really won't. I mean, that sounds like some dumb ad thing, but these stay in your ears like nothing else. Great pairs of headphones, so I'd fully recommend them. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And uh, if you got any more comments, questions, put them below. I always reply to comments and things like that, questions. Thanks for watching.